Now let us understand the reaction mechanism of chlorination of methane. How is a regular reaction different from a reaction mechanism? In a regular reaction we write only the reactant, the necessary condition and by maintaining the necessary condition for the reactants, which kind of products are obtained and how many moles of such products are obtained is represented. So it is a simple equational representation of what are the reactants and how the product is formed. In case of a reaction mechanism, it gives us a detailed step by step phenomenon of how exactly the reaction starts, proceeds to completion. So all the details have been revealed in a detailed manner in a reaction mechanism. So now let us take up the example of chlorination of methane reaction mechanism. This chlorination of methane reaction mechanism occurs in three steps or it involves three steps. Namely, initiation. Next, propagation. Next, termination. So, reaction mechanism of chlorination of methane involves these three steps. Initiation, propagation and termination. Initiation means the name itself is giving us the idea that it is the step which will be responsible for the commencement of the reaction. Propagation is the continuation of the reaction. Termination where the reaction is brought to a halt. Now let us understand each step in detail. So, what happens in the process of initiation? Chlorine molecule in presence of diffused sunlight undergoes homolytic fission. How is this chlorine molecule present? Chlorine molecule is having two atoms of chlorine in it which is linked by a single covalent bond. Now by taking the energy from diffused sunlight, this covalent bond undergoes homolytic fission. Homolytic fission. What do we mean by homolytic fission? Symmetrical breaking of the bond, covalent bond is referred by the name as homolytic fission. If the covalent bond breaks unsymmetrically, then it is called heterolytic fission. So as a result of homolytic fission, there is an electron being taken by each of the chlorine atom, thus forming chlorine free radical. So in the initiation step, we have the formation of chlorine free radical which is formed as a result of homolytic fission of this chlorine molecule. Now what happens next is the step 2 propagation step. This chlorine free radical which is formed is highly reactive in nature. So what are free radicals? They are atoms or group of atoms which contain an odd electron. The point to remember here is they are not charged particles. So therefore it is not an ion. But they are highly reactive in nature. So thus formed free radical cannot be as it is quite. So what will happen is one chlorine free radical will attack the molecule of methane. It will attack the molecule of methane forming methyl free radical and this will take one hydrogen along with that 
resulting in the formation of HCl. So, as a result of the attack of the chlorine free radical on methane, we have the generation of methyl free radical and this chlorine flag free radical will settle down as HCl. Now, thus formed methyl free radical is reactive in nature. It is not going to keep quiet as it is. Now, it will attack another molecule of chlorine. So this will attack another molecule of chlorine resulting in the formation of chloromethane along with chlorine free radical. Chloromethane along with chlorine free radical. So now this chlorine free radical will again attack another methane molecule. And it will result in the formation of methyl free radical and HCl. So this process continues and this process only is referred by the name as propagation. This is step number 2. Now all this reaction proceeds for some time and then all the free radicals generated in different steps will all combine together forming stable molecules and that marks the stoppage of the process which is called termination. So how the termination takes place or the process is brought to a halt? Methyl free radical present in the reactions unused ones of course will settle down a stable molecule as ethane. Then what else will happen? Methyl free radical can also combine with chlorine free radical resulting in the formation of chloromethane. Not only that, chlorine free radical can combine with the other chlorine free radical can settle down as molecule of chlorine. So therefore all the components which are present as free radical in the reaction by the end of the reaction will settle down as stable molecule. Now as you can see we had only the formation of chloromethane. In case if we require further higher substituted products of the methane, then we should take large excess quantity of chlorine. Then only it will yield us the next subsequent substituted products of the chlorination of methane as dichloromethane, trichloromethane or the chloroform and tetrachloromethane or carbon tetrachloride. 